What is up, sisters and misters? It is me, Mr. Junior, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to defeat any boss that you guys may come across in Minecraft Pixelmon mod. Now, I'm talking uncommons, commons, rares, legendaries, and ultimates. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fight like a champion in no time. Now, these three methods are very simple, and they go from easiest to most difficult. And none of them are actually difficult. They just require a little bit more work than others. So starting off, we're going to look at a Pokemon like Rattata. Now, all you need are three things. You can do this method with other Pokemon, but Rattata is really easy to get. You're going to want Endeavor which you learn at level 44 on Rattata, Quick Attack, which you learn at level 4, and the last thing that you're going to want is a Focus Sash. Now, Focus Sash you can get from Sock and Mind Xiao, these two Pokemon right here. It has a 10% chance of dropping, and what it does is instead of you being one-shot from 100% to zero, it'll stop you with one HP. Now, a Focus Band right here does the same exact thing, except... The Focus Sash will break after one use, so you only can use it one time. Where a Focus Band, you can use it as many times as you want, but it only has a 12% chance of actually stopping you from being knocked out, so it'll leave you with one HP. So, you can get a Focus Band from Metacham and Thrall, these two Pokemon right here, and it is also a 10% chance to get the Focus Band from these guys. So, what you're going to do is... You're going to pair that Focus Sash with Endeavor, so you'll be left with 1 HP from your Focus Sash. Endeavor, you'll use Endeavor, which changes your target's HP to the user's HP. So you'll make the opposing Pokemons the same as yours, which will be 1 HP. And then you'll use a priority move like Quick Attack, which you'll attack it first, because hence the name Priority Move. So let me go ahead and spawn a boss real quick, and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my level 1 Rattata, and I'm going to fight this Charizard right here. So, all we're going to do is we're going to use Endeavor. Charizard is going to go first because it outspeeds me. It's level 140. I'm level 1. It's going to outspeed me, so it'll take me from 11 HP to 1 HP because the Focus Sash will save me. And I'm going to use Endeavor because I want to make his HP equal the same as mine. So I'm going to use Endeavor because he's going to put me down on 1 HP. Then my move is going to go into place. So I'm going to use Endeavor, which is going to put his HP on 1. And now that we're on turn 2, I'm going to use Quick Attack, a priority move, which is going to attack first, and boom. My level 1 Rattata just defeated a 140 Mega Evolved Charizard boss. Now, it's that simple. You can do that with anything. It's not just a boss. But again, I'm showing you guys how to use these methods to defeat boss Pokemon. Okay, you guys, the second method I'm going to be showing you guys in this video today is similar to the first, but not quite as painful, I guess. So what you're going to want to do is get yourself a Pokemon that can learn the ability Sturdy. Now, I like Aeron the best, so Sturdy, it stops you from being able to be knocked out with one hit, very similar to Focus Sash or the Focus Band. So... You're going to get sturdy, and you're going to pair it with a move like Endeavor. Now, Endeavor, the only way that you can get Endeavor is by egg training it onto an Aeron. And I have a video that tells you all about breeding and how to do any of that stuff. I've been told it's the best video on YouTube for breeding, so go check it out. I'd recommend it. And then you're going to want any type of damaging move like Tackle. Aeron does not learn a priority move, but with the held item, the Shell Bell which you can get from Cloyster and Samurott, Hisui and Samurott also, you have a 30% chance of getting it from Cloyster and a 10% chance of getting it from Samurott. So these are the two Pokemon you'll be looking for for that method. And what the Shell Bell does is it'll heal one-eighth of the damage that you received during your last hit. So because of how strong this Charizard is, it'll do way more damage to me than my Aeron can even handle, so it'll heal me back to full, basically. So, I'm going to go in here and I'll show you this fight. So, Aaron's out here. I'm going to use Endeavor because he's going to attack first because he outspeeds me. So, my HP is going to go from 12 to 1, and then it'll be my turn, and then my Endeavor will go off, which will make his HP 1 also. Boom, sturdy, 1 HP. 
Now I used Endeavor. Now he's got one HP. And now you see I have full HP now because the Shell Bell just took effect and it restored one eighth of the damage I just took. So he does way more damage than I even have his HP. So it'll heal me all the way up to full. So now that I'm back up to full HP, my Sturdy will take place again, which is why you don't need a priority move. So I can use Tackle and boom, Dragon Rage. I live with one HP again because of Sturdy. I use Tackle, boom, I just knocked out that ultimate boss. A level one Aaron just defeated a level 140 Charizard. Very simple. Very easy. You guys can go ahead and fight these bosses like a pro. Okay, now for this third and final method, all you're going to need yourself is a Gengar. And this one is going to require a lot more because what you're going to want to use is Destiny Bond. Now, Destiny Bond, what it does is whenever you use it on a Pokemon, if your Pokemon faints after that turn, it'll take down the Pokemon with it. Now, with Destiny Bond, you always want to have at least two Pokemon in your party because if Gengar goes down and you take down the opposing Pokemon with Destiny Bond, you still lose because you white out because you have no other Pokemon in your party. So you want to have at least two Pokemon so that way you don't automatically lose once your Gengar goes down. You're also going to want to have the highest speed stat that you can get. Now, personally, I like this method the most because Gengar is one of the fastest ghost-type Pokemon that you can get, and he also Mega Evolves. So, I have this Gengar, 100% IVs, and I have him EV trained in speed along with a speed nature. Now, if you guys don't know how to get strong Pokemon like that, again, I suggest checking out my breeding video because I will teach you how to get the very best Pokemon that you can possibly get in Pixelmon or Pokemon in general for that matter. So, we have a fast Gengar, and to make it even better, I have a Gengarite, which allows me to Mega Evolve and which will increase these stats even more. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call in one of these bosses. I'm going to call in one of these bosses. I'm going to throw out Gengar. I'm going to fight, and I'm going to use Destiny Bond. Destiny Bond goes off. I didn't even have to Mega Evolve. Gengar is trying to take down its opponent with it. Charizard one-shots Gengar. Gengar takes down Charizard with him. Boom. I just defeated him. Easy as pie. Or cake, whichever you like better. But that's how it's done. So I just defeated three bosses with two level one Pokemon and then a ghost type that took one move. Now again, the Gengarite, if you Mega Evolve, it makes your speed even faster, so you're even more likely to get that move off. But... All very simple methods. I'm sure you guys understand and were able to follow along with it the entire time. If not, leave any questions you have down in the comments below and I will get to it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps you guys become a better Pokemon trainer. Take it easy and I will see you in the next one.